How are you today? Yes, I'm fine. And how are you today? Yeah, I'm I'm good actually. I um I slept. Okay, I slept the whole day. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have we didn't have classes because it's holiday here in the Philippines. No, actually not in the Philippines, but specifically uh, in my school only because our school is a Chinese school. Oh so, yeah. So yeah, so we need to observe um this particular holiday which is Confucius Day. Okay, but and uh, you other... just uh, stay at home and yeah. relax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just stayed at home and uh, just just sleep and relax because tomorrow it will be another day again. So we do have classes <laughs> tomorrow. Okay, yeah. so without further ado, Anne, let me share the presentation to you. Okay, so we will be continuing our uh, lesson. I hope you can see it, Anne. Yes, I can see it. Yeah, very good. Okay. So yesterday we were able to discuss all about um, this particular uh, thing which we called an emergency, right? So yeah. uh, we're able to identify um, that, um, yeah, we we were, okay, we we're able to to go to a police, okay, and of course uh, an ambulance, right? Okay, and then we discuss also about the fire drill, okay, our experiences, and then we were able to connect um, other terms or other other words uh, when it comes to police and when yeah. it comes to fire, okay? And we already also um, unscramble the, the, the letters to find the verbs and we completed the expression, okay? So yeah. this time, we are going to continue and so how do we report a crime okay so uh, it's we have here a situation win ling which is a chinese student in the united kingdom reports a crime at the campus security office so look at the form and identify the information to listen for okay yeah. so let's try to look at the form and so the, the name of the school is written on top, okay? So Win Ling studied at Bristol City University. And um, below the name, we have the so-called, the title of this particular form, and this is the crime report form, okay? Mm -hmm. And then uh, it says in here, the day, the time. Right, yeah. so the day and the time, okay, and then the type of the crime. So you just have to check the type of the crime. And then where's the location and who's the name of the victim, especially the address, and then the details of the crime, and then the suspect, okay, the suspect, uh, suspect appearance. So yeah. it's it's also very important to identify the appearance of the suspect. And then we have also additional details, okay? Now, um, uh, I don't know, I don't know if we have the same here in the Philippines, okay? Because uh, here in the Philippines, we have also this particular police report, okay? Yeah. So we call that one as police report. So if you were going to uh, let's say report a crime, so you will go. You will going to fill out the informations needed. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, there's also this particular informations, right? And yeah. Okay. So we have to. Okay. Before we have to listen, right? Okay. So what 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 do you think would be the things that we should have to understand, and in a crime oh. report form. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, what's the, what's the, this mean? Okay, uh, this work yeah. for gravity. Okay. Uh, what, do, what do you mean? Um, what's, uh, what does this mean? For gravity and also in type of crime. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah. So when we say theft, 
okay, stole, okay, the one who, let's say, for example, the one who stole money from you, so yeah. that's that's considered to be a theft, okay, or yeah. if you stole something from 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 a okay. person, that's also a theft, okay. When we say assault, there would be something like you 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 punch a person, you kick okay. a person, oh. okay, you hurt a person. That would be an assault. When you say burglary, uh, bur burglary, okay, from the word burgle, okay, that means uh, it's going to be something like um, you showed uh, not the usual thing, okay. Let's say, for example, you are in a particular particular place, and then um, something like, uh, let's say, for example, you kiss a person, okay, in in a particular uh -huh. yeah, in a particular place, right? So yeah. that is considered to be um, considered to be a crime, a eh? uh, okay, crime already, right? Because yeah. You were able to to show something, okay, yeah. which is not necessary in that particular place, right? Yeah. Okay. So that is burglary, okay? Yeah. And of course, it says in here other. Okay. Now, now let's try to listen and complete the form now. Okay. So that's try try to listen. That's 18. Recording 18. Can you hear it, Anne? Yes. I oh, hello. Is this where I report something stolen? Yes, that's right. Just let me get the right form. OK. What's your name, please? Wen Ling Tai. That's W-E-N space L-I-N-G mm -hmm. Tai T-S-A-I. <clears throat> okay, and where do you live? Okay, wait. Uh, it says in here, in this particular form that the police officer gave to Win Ling, uh, he was able to ask the name, okay, the name of the victim. So since Win Ling was the victim, so she was able to give her complete name, okay? So yeah. what is her complete name? When? Okay, w. it's when, yeah, when, ah, no, no, when, okay, when, when Ling, and, and then Tai, right? Yeah. Okay, is, that's, is this correct? Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so it's Win Ling, Tai, right? And? Yes. Okay, next, let's try to listen. 17A Park Avenue, Bristol. The postcode No, is... hang on. 17A Park Avenue, you say? Yes. Mm -hmm. What 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 she said in her address? 17A uh what's the avenue? Okay, Park I... Avenue, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's 17 Okay, A Park Avenue. Park Avenue. Yes, Park Avenue. Okay, and then Bristol. Okay, Bristol. Oh, let's try to continue, huh, Anne? In Bristol, <laughs> the postcode is BR26YT. 6YT. Okay, let's try to read. The postcode is BR26 Avenue, you say? Yes, in Bristol. <laughs> the postcode is BR26YT. Okay, so 17A Park Avenue, Bristol. The, the postcode. postcode is BR26YT. Okay, so that's that's her complete address actually, right? So why do we need... Or why is it important for Wen Ling to give her complete address on? What do you think? It's because when when there's 
security office want to contact with her? Yes. Okay. They need to know her name and address. Yes. Okay. So that's the purpose. That's the purpose why we need to give our contact information, especially our address, okay, to the police, okay? Yes. And um, because if ever there would be, um, let's say, for example, there would be something that the police Okay, we're going to know us so they can be able to contact us, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's try to continue and X Y T. Okay. So what was stolen? My bag. Okay. So according to the police, what I, was I, stolen? Uh her bag. Her yes, bag. okay. Her bag. So it's a okay, it's the bag has been stolen so that's the details of the crime okay and then let's continue i was outside the library this man just grabbed it and ran away i see so when was this okay so the suspect ap appearance he is a man okay he's uh. a male okay he's a male no. and then uh, mm. It should be, we should have also to inform the police officer of the appearance of that particular person. So according to Wen Ling, it's medium, medium built. Is he mentioned that one? Medium built? Uh, mil, uh, medium height, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, medium height. Okay, let's, let's continue, huh? Yeah. yeah, let's let's try to hear it again. So, what was stolen? My bag. I was outside the library. This man just grabbed it and ran away. I see. So, when was this? At around twelve thirty. Okay. When when it will ha it was happen? At around. Yeah. So this this one is this one twelve thirty p.m. Right? Yeah. Okay, let's continue, huh? Okay. Did you get a look at him? Yes. He was medium height with short, dark hair. Mm. And so he was medium, medium height. Hair. What else? Short. And short, dark hair. Yeah, short, dark, dark hair. hair. Okay, let's continue. Glasses. Oh, and he had a mustache. Mm. So medium height, short dark hair, and uh, wear he has glasses, right? Glassy. Yes, he, he wears glasses with mustache. Yes, it's a mustache. Okay, you know what's a mustache on? Okay, yes, I know. Yes, yeah. Okay, he's a he has a mustache. Here? This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Yeah. And this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the hair, okay, the hair here, and this one is a mustache. Okay, yes. next, and then let's continue. Right, and what was he wearing? Blue jeans and a black jumper, I think, and white running shoes. Mm. So what was he's wearing? So wearing blue black, jeans. Blue jeans and black, uh, black. Okay, so blue, blue jean. jeans, okay, black. black jumper, a jumper, yeah, it's a jumper, black jumper, and white running shoes, white. okay, so white running shoes, Shoe. yeah, okay, next, let's try to continue. Okay, now additional details. Can you describe the bag? It's a small black leather bag. Okay, it's okay. Additional details. Black small. Okay, leather. it's a small black. Okay. Leather. Yeah, it's 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 Le a um, yeah, it's small. Okay, leather 
black bag right yeah okay uh, yeah and then let's continue with a zip along the top and the shoulder strap okay so it's a small leather black bag with a zip okay zip yes zipped on the top or along the top okay zip along the top okay and it has it has shoulder shoulder strap right shoulder strap yes it has a shoulder strap okay it's a show uh oh. yeah that's that's a strap we call that one as a strap shoulder strap yes. and then Huh? Are there any distinguishing marks on it? Any scratches, for example? Not really. Just the small tear on the handle. Mm, okay. And aside from that, it has a small tear, tear, tear. Okay, on the handle. handle. Yes, okay. It's just, it's just only small, but not totally damaged, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then let's continue. Ah. Okay, well, we'll look into it. Okay, so we're able to we're able to um, fill in some information, right? But what about the type of the crime that uh, when Ling reported? So it's all about theft. It's theft, yes, because he her bag has been stolen. stolen. Okay, and the location. So where's the location? When she was? was school. Okay, outside the library, right? Okay, when yeah. she was outside uh, the library. Okay, this is not Thai, but it's Chai, okay? So when, when Chai. Ling Chai, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we were able now to fill in the information needed on right so in in a particular form actually um it depends it depends on on uh, on the on on the police uh police precinct or we call that one as police what do we call that something like a place where in the police station. are yes so it depends on the police station so anything okay anything that you can be able to fill out that is what we call a report okay and um um police station does his own or their own uh, original form to follow but again in that particular form all of these details are there because these are very important details. Some may ask for a number, right? Yeah. Okay. So in this particular form, it doesn't have a number, but it uh, um, um, asks, okay, the police officer asks for the complete uh, address, okay? But yeah. uh, the police officer doesn't ask for a number of the victim. Oh. Right, but oh. in other form, yes, right. But in other form, yeah, in other in other uh, information, just like here in the Philippines, it should still um, very very important to give at least two two contact informations. Yeah. Okay. Because if ever if ever um, uh, that particular uh, thing that has had been stolen, okay, will be. Uh, will be back, okay? So they were going to call the victim, right? Yeah. So that's the that's the uh, the most important thing that you should have to give to the police officer. Yeah. Okay. And I okay. think uh, this form need need um to be updated. <laughs> yes. Yes. More. Uh, more information about victim, the phone, telephone number. Yes, is, is yes. Contact, yeah. Yeah, the telephone number. Uh, because uh, telephone number or the contact number is very important, right, Anne? Yes. Okay, so moving on. Do you have any questions with this, Anne? And no more. No more. Now, 
for the learning tip, whenever possible, try to identify the information you need before you listen, right? So before listening, that's why uh, just a while ago, what we did was we were able to um, uh, scrutinize, okay? When I say scrutinize, we're able to look at the the information that we need to fill out before we listen yeah. so that uh, during the time of the listening so we can be able to uh, fill out the informations correctly right and yes okay and then that way you are better prepared so then while you listen focus only on listening for those details and don't worry about anything else right yeah. Okay, but all of the particular informations were, were given by the victim, right? Yes. Okay, now for the focus on adjectives to describe appearance, okay? So in order for us to uh, describe the appearance of the suspect, we need to use adjectives, right? Okay, yeah. so when we are talking about adjective, that means yeah. it's a describing word, right? So adjective is a describing word. That's why, okay, we use this one to describe the suspect, okay? So yeah. write these words and expressions next to the correct category. So like, for example, the age, okay, has been given in his 30s. So, of course, uh, when you are reporting a crime, you should have uh, just uh, maybe an estimation, right? Yeah. Because you cannot give the exact the exact age of the person, but merely looking at the person, you you can be able to identify if if uh, how old is she or how, how old is he, right? Oh, yes. So you can use some words to describe like uh, his age may be in his 30s. That means that would be around 30 or below 30, something like that. But that's in between 30, right, And Yeah. Okay, because you cannot, you weren't there, you weren't able to to interview the the suspect. <laughs> the, how old <laughs> yeah. are you before before you will go before your bag has been told and oh, I, oh how old are you so that I can report it to the police. <laughs> so of course yes. not, right? So we therefore yes, yeah, yeah. so it's just only an estimation. Now, what adjective we can be able to put in here if you're talking about the height or the build? So what do you think? The height. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So there are, there are one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that we can be able to identify. Slim. Okay, yes, right, right. So the body is, he has a slim body, right? Yeah. Okay, what else aside from slim? Mm -hmm. So slim. Some, some words. I don't know the meaning. Of? Uh, how about casual? Again, again, Anne? <laughs> how about casual? I just get, I don't know. Casual, the meaning. okay. Casual. Mm -hmm. We cannot say that the height is casual or the build is casual because when we are talking of the height, we're talking of the, 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 the height of the person or the build that means the body, okay, the physical, uh -oh. the physical appearance. How about muscular? Yes, okay. So we can be able to say that he has a muscular body. That means a lot of muscles, right? Yeah. Mm. Aside from that, overweight, overweight. Okay, so we can also say that. Okay, yes, if the person has a very big body, so we can say that. 
Oh, he okay. has an overweight body, right? Okay, so we can we can also say that. Okay, what yeah. else? Uh, Aside from stocky. being overweight, yes. So we can also say that he is also stocky, right? Okay, you know what the stocky means? I am. Um... His body is. Uh, um, it it has a it has it has a lot of muscle and then his body is something like stocky, right? A very uh, it has a very strong body, uh, so that is yeah. what we call the stocky body, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, what else do we have? Steel. Skinny. Mm -mm. Again. Um. We still have there. No more. We have. Skinny. We have steel and yes, okay. So it's skinny. Okay, skinny is the um. What is one the um, uh, the other way? Okay, of slim. Ah, uh, no, no. The of overweight, right? Overweight oh. means, yeah, it's going to be, it has a big body. Skinny means, okay, it has only a small body. It, it looks like it's still, it's also the same when we say slim, right? Yeah. Okay, skinny and slim, okay? Okay, yeah. and that's it. Mm -hmm. Next, what about the hair? So what, what? Um, words we can be able to describe a hair of the person. Uh, stray, stray. Okay, we can say that it has a straight. Okay, straight. it is a straight hair. What else? Wavy. Yes, okay. Wavy hair. What else? Uh, curly. Okay, curly. Yes, of course. Okay, we have curly hair. What else? Perm. Perm. No. no. Okay, wavy, curly. Okay. What else? Straight or just straight? Ah, yeah, straight. Okay, what else? So we still have another one. Scrupting. The hair of the person sometimes even men, okay, has this particular long hair, okay. Now, if your hair is just only uh, on your shoulder, shoulder yes, length, yes, it's shoulder length, right? Yeah. So we can also say now. Let's say for example, if if the if the suspect is a girl, so we can be able to describe it has a shoulder length hair yeah. right yeah. so we can also describe that one but sometimes okay sometimes men has on also long hair right <laughs> so <laughs> men, men also does the long hair right yeah okay next so the age is there Okay, aside from in his 30s, we still have there? 40 years. Yes. So we can also say that that's in his 40s, right? We can yeah. also say that in his. So 40 is mean? 40 years old. Around the 40. Yes, okay. So 40 is. 40 is is around his 40s that means it's going to be from maybe we can say that from 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 something like that okay so yeah. if in his 30s that's 31 up to 40 in your 40s that means it's going to be 40 40 something like that okay but yeah. uh, we cannot identify exactly the age. Okay, we can also say 50s. We can also say 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. But of course, 
maybe an 80 years old person cannot cannot do it anymore <laughs> right okay but it can also it can also below 30s we can say in his 20s right yeah. okay rubbers sometimes rubbers are uh, in their 20s right okay next what about the face uh, oval yes oval okay face. so we can yes we can also identify that suspect has an oval face that means oval it's face. oblong okay what else brown face hmm? brown face okay round face so we can also say that and then square face yes it's square face okay so and smart face round okay oval square and then smart face no we don't have no. a smart face <laughs> we don't have a smart face okay yeah okay so the style of the dress so that would fall under the style of the dress so yeah. he wears a smart dress right a oh. smart dress what else okay, he also so, uh, wears casual okay casual. that's casual okay what else um, perm. Mm? Perm. permit okay permit actually is the is the style of the hair okay yeah. it's for me yeah yeah okay. it's for mid hair so smart casual and scruffy, scruffy. okay scruffy. so that would be scruffy okay when we are talking about scruffy that means um something like um you're just wearing the usual thing right that scruffy thing right yes. that's scruffy when we are when we are going to say casual so that's that's not too formal okay when we say smart that means it's it's not it's not too formal okay yeah. yes yeah. so we're done with this and so what we can do is let's try to read them all huh okay yeah. so we know already how to how to describe if you wanted to report a crime okay yeah so let's try to read them on in, in his, his first in his 30s 30s in his 30s this this yes in his 30s in his 30s yes wavy muscular proud shoulder length length uh, shoulder length yes straight 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 yes straight straight okay slim curly scruffy 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 smart casual 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 yes casual casual yes permit 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 fortieth okay fortieth fortieth overweight stocky oval skinny square yes okay so do you have any question on with this one no more no more yeah. now now you know how in case okay but uh, of course uh, we we pray that it will not happen to us right <laughs> that uh, <laughs> someone will going to stole from us right okay so you should have to be very careful but in case it will happen so you know how to describe right. now as a doctor also it's very important also especially when describing your patient's condition right so we can yeah. also use an the adjective, adjective to describe the condition of your patient so what are examples of the description if we are talking about a patient 
Okay, so we can say that. Uh, let's. Okay, can you give me an adjective to describe the situation of your patient? Let's say, for example, very ill, right? Very, very Ill. ill. Okay. What else? Serious. Uh, yes, yes. So his condition is serious. Okay. We can also yeah. say that it's also um how if it's 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 at very, very so you have to say very serious, right? Yeah, yeah so you yeah, can yeah. also you can also say that in describing your patient's condition. What else aside from that? Very ill, very serious, serious. Uh, it's going to be a um, fatal, okay. right? We can say fatal. it's fatal, yeah. Fatal. So it's fatal. So when we are talking of fatal, that means it's going to be something uh, that it's very, see, very, very serious, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be deadly. Okay. We can I also say. To yeah. Death, Rick, death. Yes. Yeah, fatal deadly. means it's deadly. So you're near to death if that would be the case. Okay. What else? Um, we can also say that it's going to be. Sublime. Uh, Light. 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 Not serious. Ah, okay. Yeah, we can also say uh, that uh, it's it's just only uh, other term for not serious. That would be uh, there. There's a term. Okay, there's a term for uh, that. Uh, it's just only. I forgot the term. Okay, I forgot the term. My doctor says. How uh, about, about the urgent? Huh? How about urgent? How, How emergency? No. Ah, okay. You you can also say that that would be. Uh huh. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Strong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can also we can also uh, describe a person's condition that. He has this particular thing like um, uh, what else? Oh, what's the term? I forgot the term. OK, there's a term for that uh, can, that can manage manage his condition. That means he is terrible. Uh, oh, yes, we can. Yes, yes. And that's right. Huh? We can also say we can also I, we can also um, describe the patient's condition if it's terrible, right? So you have a terrible headache, right? Okay, yeah. you have a terrible condition. In fact, yeah. it's fatal. That's it's deadly. If there is no medical attention given, okay, mm. and it's very serious. It's serious. My, okay. What and else? Was with Sarah's in my. How do I, how do we spell that? M I L D. Ah, mild. Yes. So your condition is just only mild. Good. Yeah. See? Oh, you're a doctor, okay? <laughs> <laughs> because you know all of these things. See? So these are actually it's different, right? It's different when you are describing describing patients. So the term is not the same because you cannot you cannot describe your 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 patients like ah you have a straight hair you have a round neck or you have a mas <laughs> muscular body yes you can say that during your physical examination right you yeah. you can put that one on the medical a uh, medical record of the patients that he has a muscular uh, the patient came came to this hospital with a very a very with yeah uh, uh, came to this hospital uh very ill yes yeah. right you can you can also say that and uh it has a uh, very serious condition yes. so you can also say that right and or you can say that oh the patient uh come to me and um come to me with only mild mild condition right yeah, yeah something like that Okay, so those are the terms and 
Now, moving on. Oh, just like a doctor also giving descriptions, right? So, yeah. as a doctor, you do give descriptions. In the police, you do give also descriptions. So, speaking strategy, describing someone's appearance. So, it's very, very important. Uh, as a doctor, you do also describe the appearance of the, your patient, right, Anne? Yeah. Okay, because it's also important that you should have to, to I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, you also put that one on the medical record of the patient, the, the, the body, right? Uh, yeah. his, his body. The owl look. Yes, uh, the appearance, the look, because if ever uh, there would be, yes, if that would be overweight, or okay, stocky, or medium. yes, medium built, because that's also very, very important, because sometimes a person, if the person is, it's, it's, it has a very fatal or deadly illness, so yeah. sometimes the person's body may, may tend to decrease, right? Uh, from from overweight, just like what happened to me when I uh, I I I've been hospitalized and I I became very skinny. Okay, skinny. I became yeah. yeah I became very very skinny. Okay, my face became became something like that. Okay, it's not round. Okay, oh. for for three months, huh? For three months. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so it's very important so that you can be able to. Uh, what is one? We could be able to um, monitor the condition of your patient from from this body and up to this body, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's it. Okay. Now look at this extract. Underline the words and phrases when Ling uses to describe the thief. So when we are talking about the thief, that means the one who stole something, okay? So the guard, oh, the guard. Okay, did you get a look at him? And then Wen Ling says, yes. Yeah. He yes, has medium height with yeah. short dark hair and glossy eyes, and he has a mustache. Yes, okay. So now look at now the following <laughs> persons in here. So where do you think is this person? According uh, to the Lee, man, the man in uh, picture letter, D. Letter D. Letter D. Because the mm. the letter mm. D exactly um what is uh, exactly uh what is one uh, exactly um uh what is what what's the term um much okay exactly much the description yeah. right because according to wendling he has medium height okay so it's yeah. not it's not too tall it's not also too small okay too too short, uh, short right yeah. with with short dark hair Okay, with short dark hair. Do you think no. his hair is dark? <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. And we uh short dark hair dark and hair. glasses. So the only person who wear glasses in here is letter D, right? Oh yeah. and he had a mustache. So the only person who wears a or who has a mustache here is only letter D. But sometimes, remember, a victim sometimes may forgot. Remember yeah. that uh, it's not exactly right. So maybe she has the so-called tribal phone. Yes. So he maybe she, she forgot. Okay, the color of the hair, right? Although yeah. she he says there. He has, he was medium height with short dark hair, okay, and glasses, okay, but uh, he get wrong when he uh, identify the hair of the suspect, okay, but 
uh, it matches the suspect's identification, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, look at these people. Describe its person's appearance in detail, including what they are wearing. Oh, let me see, huh? So, let me see, Anne. Can you please describe letter A? Oh, letter A. Uh, they are square. This A of female are uh, in maybe. Uh, she is 58. Okay, we can use this one, huh? We can use uh, uh, this particular, okay. Yes. 40 and she has um, short, curly, okay, curly, curly black, black, and okay, uh, long, shoulder length. Okay, hair. shoulder length hair. Good, yeah. huh? Okay. And she ha she has a round uh, a square face. Okay, it's a square face. Yes. And uh, she wear a blue blue jacket. Blue jacket. Yes, blue uh, jacket or oh, sweater. Oops. Right, you can also say that. Yes. She wears a blue sweater. Jack sweater. And white long pants. Okay, white pants. A uh, white pants. Uh, which dress? Dress. Jenny okay. shoe. Okay. Dress shoe. Mm -hmm. And we can also uh, describe the not just only the face, round face, right? So we can also say that. He has a pointed nose, right? He has a pointed nose, nose, pointed right? Nose. And pointed nose, this one. He has a pointed nose. Okay, that means um, it's not it's not the usual nose, but he has a pointed nose, right? Yeah. Okay. Pointed nose. Yeah, pointed nose. So we can also describe that one, right? Oh, that's that's a very good description, right? We can say that um, the suspect, okay, the suspect is in its uh, in its uh, in her forties, okay, in her forties, with a with um, shoulder length um, uh, black. Oh, we can also say the shoulder length black black hair. Uh, black, uh, black curly hair. Curly okay. hair. Yes, curly yeah. hair. Okay. Uh, wearing a blue jacket and a white pants and a red shoes, right? And a red, red um, rubber shoes. Okay. With a with a round, round face and yeah. pointed nose. Okay. Yeah. So that's exactly our description. Okay. What about letter B? Let to be mm -hmm. um, the uh, that's, next suspect that's a, a man um a man yeah, it's just a male a he's male. a male uh he he is tall okay and he is tall. overweight yes is he overweight <laughs> a little yeah okay i think so maybe we can say that uh, maybe it's not an overweight but uh He's uh, he's um, he's tall, okay, and um, um, uh, he has a medium medium built, okay. It's a build, yeah. yeah, it's a medium built uh, body, okay. Continue mm -hmm. on. She has he, a he round. Has, he has a round face. Round face, okay. Uh, which um. Uh, um, hair, uh, light, light, light hair. hair. Okay, yes. So he is light hair. Okay. He, uh, he wears. He wears blue jacket. And okay, actually, yellow it's, shirt. He, yeah, he Best. wears a um, 
a uh, what do you use that one? A um the best. Uh huh. Um. It's 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 going to be something like a um. What do you call that one? A blazer, a blazer. blazer. Okay, uh -oh. a blue blazer blue with blazer. a yellow with a shirt? yellow shirt. Sh yeah, shirt, shirt and uh, red and red. necktie. Yes, red, tie. red necktie and white Boy, pants. white pants and black leather shoes, right? Red shoe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and black leather shoes. So that's letter B. What about letter C? Yeah, she, she, she as she is tall and slim. Okay, with oval face. Yes, with with an oval face, with uh, a. She has um long uh, long brow straight brown brow hair hair right? okay she uh, wears a uh, dark blazer with white t-shirts okay um and black and um, black skirt skirt Yes, black I skirt. skirt. He, um, she, she wears high heels. Shoes. Yes, black high shoe, heel. black shoes, and, and brought bringing, and she bring brings a bag. Yes, she brings an attache case. Attache case. Yes, attache case. Okay. Oh, we already, we already. Um, what is one? Uh. Um, what do we call that one? Describe. describe. Yeah, we already described the D. What about letter E? Yeah, uh, she is medium high. Mm -hmm. Uh, was um in her in her how how do you think how old is she? Maybe she in her in her fifty. 50s okay in her 50s 50s he has um she has she has shoulder length curly dark curly dark black yes hair black and hair she wear a blue hat okay blue scarf okay a, ah, yeah, a blue hat combination of a blue and black hat and then with a scarf yeah. Mm, she she wear a long dress. Yeah. Jacket. With, yeah, long jacket, red long jacket with, with a scarf. With the scarf. Yeah, with a scarf and yeah. And a frock. She wear a bra, mm -hmm. blue and, and white. Yeah, striped blue and pattern. white. Yeah, striped dress, right? And um, brown, brown shoe. Yeah, close shoes, right? Uh, she wears a brown close shoes. Okay. Oh, that's it. That's that's how you were going to describe a person or a suspect. And same thing when you describe your patients, right? And so the patients came to me and consulted to me because um, uh, shortened to breathe. Okay, uh, she cannot breathe or he cannot breathe. And the patient is has a medium built body wearing something like that, something like that, right? Yeah. Okay, so you can also use that one in describing your patients. And okay, moving on. Now, speaking, giving descriptions to look at the extract, underline the words and phrases when Ling uses to describe her bag. Okay, yes. the More. guard said, Can, can you describe you the, bag? the bag? So, Win Ling said, it's a small black leather bag with a zip. With a zip. With a zip. 
a long the top, top and a shoulder, a shoulder strap. strap. Okay, so let's try to find the bag of when uh, laying in here. Small black leather. Small black leather. It's a leather leather bag with the zip along, along the, top the top and a shoulder, and a shoulder strap. strap. So is it A, B, C, D, or E? Which do you think? Mm -mm -mm. Small black. I think the letter A. Yes, exactly, right? It says in here, right? Yeah. So according to Win Ling, it's a small black leather bag with a zip along the top and a shoulder strap. So as you can see in here, Right, um, it has a oh, shoulder, strap. shoulder strap and then the zipper, okay, the zipped along the top, it's in here, it's small and it's going to be black and it's leather, okay. Uh, in here, this is also a leather, but I get, I think, of course, this, this one is not black, right? Yeah, this is, this is not a leather, this one is not also, okay. Yes. Okay, and okay, now look at these bags and describe each one as fully as you can. So we had an example already, the bag of Wen Ling. So what about letter B An? How are you going to describe that one? So you can start saying it's small. It is small grass leather bag. Leather. Okay, leather. Le leather yes. bag. Bag with a shoulder strap. Okay. With a shoulder strap. Okay, so you can say shoulder it's a small strap. red leather, leather bag, bag with okay. a shoulder strap. Okay, with a shoulder strap. And how do we describe this one? Uh, it has a K and no. I don't know if uh, how do we I, I'm not familiar with the bag of the of the female, right? What do we call that one? It is a lot. OK, it's a an overlap. OK, overlap, uh, an overlap, lock, lock, right? So you yes. can you can you can you can do like that. OK, in order to close that, right? Overlap. So it's it's a small red leather bag. OK, with an overlap. Uh, with an overlap lock, lock, and a shoulder strap. Okay, good. Yeah. Next, what about letter C, Anne? It's a, uh, it's a small, small yellow bag with um, flower pattern. Okay. It's a flowery, okay, you can say it's small, Okay, yellow, yellow flowery bag. Flowery bag. Or you can also say it's <coughs> it's a small yellow um, with flower design bag. Okay, and it has a handle. Okay. Uh, a shoulder trap. Mm hmm. OK, it has a. Um, do you think this one is a shoulder strap? Sometimes I don't know. Yeah, you can adjust sometimes, sometimes, right? Sometimes yeah. you wore the. Uh, yeah, but you, it's it's you 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 put that one on your shoulder. It's just only an, an ordinary shoulder bag, right? But it, uh, the strap is not too long, right? And Yes. Okay. Sometimes so we can see. They, um, you is yeah, you just bring that. Yeah, yeah. You have to. Yeah, you just have to to bring that one, right? So, okay. So that's the purpose of it. Okay. What about letter D on? Uh, it's a uh, medium black uh, okay. bag. Mm hmm A suitcase. A bag. Yes. Uh, it has a handle, handle on the top. Yes. 
and and okay and that's it right that's it okay what about letter e on um is e uh, a bit green okay and what is uh, this this is a okay Suitcase. suitcase yeah okay suitcase. it's a suitcase uh okay. and it's a suitcase with earth on the top was one okay a handle okay handle okay. it had a handle on yeah. and uh with with a black on handle the back. yeah black handle on and on their okay. back and then and a wise lace it's ribbon yes it's, it's, yeah it's a it, it, uh, yeah it's a ribbon so it's it has a white ribbon in between right yeah in between okay and that's it and see so you were able to describe something okay now on our next meeting tomorrow right which will we still yeah. have another meeting tomorrow. tomorrow so we will be going to discuss the order of the adjectives and so how do we it's it's very important that we should have to follow the order of the adjective it's not just it's not just describing an adjective but there is an order so tomorrow is going to be september 28 mm, right yeah so september 28 2023 so we were going to see each other again Bye yeah. tomorrow, Anne. And uh, thank you so much for your time again. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I hope um, I can manage to regularly attend to our classes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I hope. Okay. Okay. So thank you so if much, Anne. If you're too busy, you can um, tell me and we yeah. can attend, attend the time class. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's thank you okay so for much. me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much, Anne. We'll see each other again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a good night, Have a good night too. Bye.